So we have Lewis Collingwood asking, when attending family festivities for the holidays, Uh do you think it's best to go with wearing family or clan tartans or tartans that follow the colors of the holiday? He has both to choose from. Yep. It depends on how upset your family is. Yeah. Um, It depends on if it's... Really, it depends on your mood. Um, If you're in a festive holiday mood and you want to wear your holiday sweater and your wife is going to wear a holiday sweater, um, then sure, wear holiday colors in your kilt if you happen to have a kilt with holiday colors. Um, If you're, you know, going to visit your great grandmom and she has, you know, know, she's from Scotland and, you know, you want to say like, hey, grandma, look, I'm repping the the family colors, the family tartan. Um, Great. Then wear your client tartan. There's Mm -hmm. no... There's no hard and fast rule one way or the other. Um, if it means something to you, really that's what matters. Or if you know that it's going to mean something else, something to someone else in the family, um, then sure, do it for that reason. Yeah, or you can mix it up. I mean, or or other occasions like um, let's say you're going to midnight mass. You know, you might want to wear a uh, family tartan and look all gentlemanly and 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 sharp for something like that. And then uh, Christmas morning or, you know, going out caroling or something, you know, then you wear the more festive holiday color tartan. I think the only thing I would avoid would be making, I wouldn't want to combine them and clash. I mean, he's talking about tartans. Yeah. But I wouldn't wear like a family tartan, like in ancient, like, like, no, it's not ancient, but yeah, I wouldn't wear like a family tartan that's going to wind up clashing with the red and green of your ugly sweater or your blazing red candy cane necktie you know what i mean i think that'd be just look you know what I mean? but you see you see where yeah. i'm going with that yeah i mean you can I do. wind up I do. you can wind up being clashy if you're not careful yeah so. colton just uh made a comment that goes along those lines mm-hmm. imagine loud mcleod with an ugly christmas sweater i'd rather not <laughs> um, exactly thank yeah. you colton yeah that's exactly what i'm saying yeah yeah but if you're if you're and some people may have the best of both worlds. If their family tartan is, you know, Stuart or McGregor or something mm-hmm. that's, you know, festive already, great. You know, you can just right. wear your family tartan and have at it. But mm-hmm. yeah, it's it's really down to what you're in the mood to wear that day. There's no rules and regulations. You're allowed to do what you want to do. Mm-hmm. I'll say, and I'll say uh, another thing. Another might point, minor point might be uh, speaking as a pagan who has a lot of Jewish friends. Red and green are not the only holiday colors. You can go with blues and whites and other things, basically that that feel equally uh, in the zone or or festive or fun, you know, and and play around with that if you want to. Um, I just don't don't have the kilt clash with the holiday flair and and but change it up. I mean, like if you're going to visit your family in New England for a week or something, then you take both kilts. You know, problem solved. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. So whatever you do, however you celebrate. Happy holidays. So how would you accessorize your kilt outfit for the holidays? Would you wear an ugly Christmas sweater? Would you wear a wreath kilt pin or something? Would you wear a mistletoe kilt belt buckle? Uh, Maybe not that last one. But let us know in the comments how you would accessorize your kilt outfit for the holidays.